Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of over distended gallbladder with a stone impacted in the neck of the gallbladder that is mucosal. Incidentally, this patient also has multiple other findings including endometrial hyperplasia, fibroid and a large ovarian cyst. You can see the liver, gallbladder and right kidney and gallbladder is over distended with a thick mucus seen in the whole length of the gallbladder and a large stone is impacted in the neck of the gallbladder. Mucosal of gallbladder is a condition caused by the prolonged blockage of cystic duct usually by an impacted gallstone. Another name for this condition is hydrops of the gallbladder. Mucosal develops due to excessive accumulation of mucus. It may be due to an impacted stone in the gallbladder neck most commonly. Now you can see the measurement of the gallbladder. It measures 14.2 into centimeter. You can see the gallbladder is distended and a thick mucus has been accumulated in the whole length of the gallbladder along with a large stone impacted in the neck of the gallbladder. The term gallbladder mucosal refers to an over distended gallbladder filled with mucoid or clear or watery content, usually non inflammatory. It results from outlet obstruction of the gallbladder and is commonly caused by an impacted stone in the neck of the gallbladder or in the cystic duct, as you can see in this case. The gallbladder mucosal distension, which is usually non-inflammatory, results from an outlet obstruction of the gallbladder and is commonly caused by an impacted stone in the neck of the gallbladder or in the cystic duct. No single laboratory test is diagnostic of gallbladder mucosal. Mucosal of gallbladder develops due to excessive accumulation of mucus. It may be due to an impacted stone in the gallbladder neck, most commonly, or cystic duct or decreased gallbladder motility. A grossly distended thin walled gallbladder measuring more than 5 cm across across anteroposteriorly an impacted stone in the infundibulum or neck of the gallbladder or in the cystic duct and clear fluid content indicates a possible mucosal as you can see in this video. The ultrasonic Murphy sign is, may be positive. Now you can see the stone impacted in the neck of the gallbladder. Ultrasound uses sound waves to produce pictures of the gallbladder and the bile duct. It is used to identify signs of inflammation involving the gallbladder and is very good at showing gallstones. Ultrasound produces pictures of the gallbladder and bile ducts. It shows signs of inflammation or indication that there is blockage of bile flow. Ultrasound is most common test performed to, uh, to evaluate gallbladder abnormalities. When the gallbladder is inflamed or swollen, it irritates the phrenic nerve. So the phrenic nerve stretches from the abdomen through the chest and into the 
neck each time when the um, patient eats fatty meal it aggravates the nerve and causes rapid pain in the right shoulder blade now you can see the other findings in this patient the female patient having fibroid endometrial hyperplasia and a large ovarian cyst the most common symptoms of gallbladder problem is pain this pain usually occurs in the mid to upper right section of the abdomen it can be mild and intermittent or it can be quite severe and frequent in some cases the pain can begin to radiate to other areas of the body including the back and chest so when the gallbladder stones are diagnosed there may be some uncertainty about whether as any stone passed into the bile duct gall stone in the bile duct are sometimes seen during an ultrasound scan now you can see the uterus having endometrial hyperplasia and a small fibroid if the gall in the if the stones in the bile duct are not visible but test suggests that the bile duct may be affected so you may need mri scan or cholangiography differential diagnosis can include acolyte cholelithiasis colido colelithiasis irritable bowel syndrome ibs right colon or duodenal spasm or right sided visceral hypersensitivity right sided stool constipation dyspepsia ulcer or non ulcer chronic pancreatitis and atypical reflux or gas gall gall bladder problems are diagnosed through various tests these may include liver tests which are blood tests that can show evidence of gall bladder disease a check of the blood uh, amylase or lipase level to look for inflammation of the pancreas now you can see the large ovarian cyst left ovarian cyst hydrops gall bladder often involves hospital treatment to control the inflammation in the gall bladder acute treatment include intravenous hydration analgesics analge analgesics use of analgesics and sometimes antibiotics often the condition is recurrent and will eventually require require surgical management and cholecystectomy now you can see the other findings seen in this patient this is the endometrial hyperplasia the increased thickness of the endometrial wall now this is a small fibroid you can find some important information in the description of this video about the mucosal for other findings in this patient you can check the playlist in my channel thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks